Hey Cancer, welcome to your May of 2019 Sidereal Astrology Forecast. All right, so this video we're gonna talk about what I feel like are the most important events taking place for your sign here this month. And if you do look down here at the chart, um, you will see that we are using uneven constellations here. And this is because we are using the actual size of the constellations as seen in the visible sky. But this does change the signs from mainstream astrology. So if you are new to the channel, definitely check out that link down below for more information because you will notice the signs are different. All right, so let's go and take a look here at the 4th and 5th. We do have a new moon right at, the, right at the beginning of the month. Now, this is usually more of the lower energy part of the month, um, but it's in a sector for you that has to do with more of our achievements and the future uh, maybe career or productive energy um, in your life. So your energy levels and vitality in a yearly sense are probably quite strong at this uh, during this time. And um, it's just good around the 4th and 5th to maybe just sit with the energy, see what new is shaping up, maybe involving your career, maybe involving achievements, maybe involving your public image, as it were. And um, you'll notice that this whole month is very much signifying this development of this area. So set intentions for the month, also set intentions for the year um, when it comes to these productive or public things. So along with this on the fourth and fifth, Mars is going to be opposite up to Jupiter. And so this will be for all of us balancing what might be a bit of inspiration, maybe over inspiration, maybe under, under inspiration, maybe overconfidence or underconfidence. So the uh, balance here will be through this, this sort of sector of your 11th and 5th. The 11th where Mars is, is that from last month, there has been a lot of motivation and drive that can be put into your future ideals. All right, future hopes, future wishes, maybe even some of you putting motivation into um, community or friends or group related things. But whatever these kind of future ideals are, um, yes, put energy, motivation into that. While at the same time, Jupiter has been helping you this year, the whole year, uh, expand upon what it is you find fun or what's close to your heart and getting into a bit of that creative, playful, some of you romantic kind of energy or creative energy just in general. So it's great to cultivate both of these areas. And so the challenge, you could say, is to incorporate both. How can you pursue your future ideals and aspirations while at the same time see how they link up with your self-expression? See how they link up with your passions and vice versa. How can you further expand your passions while at the same time develop some of those future ideals and put energy into that? And with that sort of perspective, I suppose, with this incorporation of both, I think you'll find this to be a very, very constructive transit. There can be opportunities with this. Like I said, there can be confidence and motivation. So it's just a really good time to cultivate those kinds of two areas there. All right. And then on the eighth, Mercury does pass over Uranus. And um, this is significant because Uranus has recently entered into this 10th house of career and public stuff. So this has been since maybe last month, a bit of finding a bit of freedom with this area. Some of you may be trying a bunch of new and different things with your career or maybe doing something technological or innovative or have been feeling guided to do that. Anything that's about disrupting and experimenting when it comes to your career, especially in such a way that it helps you align your career to your true self and what excites you and what gives you that sense of freedom. Uh, just a great time moving forward to cultivate that. And, and with Mercury over Uranus, there might be some new ideas, some new insights about this. And again, maybe further development of this career or public sector. So it's not always career. It could just be your public image, how society views you or your role in society or anything you do productively, but this kind of thing. All right, so fast forward to mid-month because we do have some sign changes here. One of which is going to be the sun. The sun's going to be leaving the 10th house going into the uh, 11th house. And Mars is going to leave the 11th going into the 12th. So shifting, but really just in the same area here of the 11th, is that, yes, moving forward, continue to focus on those future aspirations. Next month, you're going to have a new beginning here, a new moon here. And so that'll be where when a lot of that, those new beginnings will start. But nonetheless, second half of the month, yes, focus on those future things your ideals, and maybe some of that community or group related stuff. And again, innovation, technology, and, and again, maybe even deriving some income from some of that career because 
This is also the sector that um, rolls income from career. Now Mars is going to go into your 12th. So the contrast there will be that there will be this opportunity, the second half of the month, to put motivation and drive into your spiritual well-being or to maybe work a bit behind the scenes. And so what I would say is, is that it's a great time to see what are your deepest, deepest values, deepest ideals, you know, what really speaks to you on a soul level and putting energy into that. And then when it comes to more of these practical things in the outer sense, it's sometimes we um, need to make sure we're getting plenty of rest. Sometimes we can be more accepting and live more in the present moment when it comes to the daily activities. And this more receptive energy in terms of how you get things done um, it's just an excellent way of working with Mars in the 12th. It's almost like you want to listen to the currents of the stream. And although you might be swimming or going somewhere, it's so much more helpful to use the currents. And in this analogy, the currents are representative of where life is sort of taking you and the intuition and the inner guidance. And again, the soul guiding you, you could say. All right, so those are the shifts there. And then on the 18th, Venus then will leave the ninth house and go into the 10th over Uranus. So this will be the last of the planets to leave your ninth house because last month in April, um, there was likely a lot of sort of development when it came to maybe your, your, um, your uh, expanding of your horizons. So this may have been for some of you regarding travel or others philosophy or your belief systems and your perspective on life. And so that could be, you know, completing throughout the month and especially by the 18th once Venus leaves there. But Venus is going to go into the 10th, which is great because, again, it's another step in the right direction involving the career or public stuff. Going to go over Uranus, which is, again, unique and different things there to help, you know, create some change in the area in a way that's great for your true self. And Venus just helps you enjoy the area. And there could even maybe maybe some relationships or connections or partnerships that, again, could be outside the norm, different and unique, but can, again, help further develop that area. And you may just be finding your more value, you know, more of what you value when it comes to your career in public life. So also on the 18th is when we have the full moon. And this is going to be here in your fourth house. And so this is the house that is essentially about emotional security. And it rules things like our home, family, and our health. So great time around the 18th to do a status check with these things. Um, how are these areas going? There could even be a harvest. If there was anything new that started about six months ago involving these roots in life, this personal life stuff, this could be um, a culmination of that. But at the very least, some insight that, the, that now is helping you further develop this area and shift and move forward for the remaining uh, six months of this cycle. So great to do that. Status check, awareness, some insight regarding these personal life matters like home, your location, maybe family or health um, here at this highest part of the cycle. All right, and then the last thing here is Mercury over the sun. And this is going to be again in that 11th house. <clears throat> so another step, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> another step in the right direction involving those future ideals. You may even get some ideas probably around the 21st. You may even be quite passionate, passionate maybe about some of these ideals. Um, involving these future things. And again, maybe things like developing your community or friends or network circles um, could be quite, again, active, maybe some communication coming in there, things on that level. All right, so Cancer, hope you all have a fantastic May. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to click that like button if you found this video helpful. And um, I'll see you all next time for the next video. Take care.